This is one of the biggest days of our lives. I'm gonna give it all I've got. This is a one-time, lifetime opportunity. Before this, I had no goals in life, nothing. At the new Spurs Stadium in London, this is our chance to become professional American football players. Oh, I think it's a massive, massive experience. I'm Paul, I'm 17, and I'm from Reading. We come here not just to learn, but to show our skills. This literally means everything to me. Here we go! You must have heard of the Super Bowl. The American NFL is watched by millions around the world. Now, it's launching the first ever UK NFL Academy, where 16 to 18 year olds can learn the game. The ultimate goal? Get to uni in the States and get drafted to the NFL. I'm ready to go, let's go now. More than a thousand athletes applied, but there are only 80 places at the academy up for grabs. That's head coach Tony Allen, the main man to impress today at the final trials. Once they get into the academy and you're lifting weights in the gym four days a week, you're learning football in class four days a week, you're on the field three days a week, and then you got to do your academics. There ain't much time to do everything else. You've got to be the best unit here. You need kids who are driven, kids who are willing to commit. At home, I've been putting in the hours with the help of my big bro, Luke. My position is running back. I need to be fast and agile to carry the ball down the field. 7. These things that we're doing out here will help you in the game as well. Yeah. Like little side to side shuffling. He's my little coach basically because you know, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he helps me a lot. And you know, especially if it was like my mum coming out here, then you know, I really wouldn't listen to her that much. <laughs> but it's because it's my brother, he'll beat my ass. <laughs> no. I've got to do my bit to help him achieve these goals and passions he has yeah. for American football and getting us the NFL. So the least I could do is spend an hour or two out here in the park making this boy sweat and panting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good. Enjoy it. Come let's go, let's go, man. let's go home. <laughs> Getting into the academy would be a huge deal. I'm really lucky to have my family behind me. No, that's yeah. orange. That's orange. only when I'm ill, mum. Come on. <laughs> this is my mum, Nana. She's amazing. As well as working full time, she takes me to training cooks my meals and keeps me in line. How would you feel about having to leave home and go and live somewhere else? Oh, I've been waiting for this from day one. I want to go now, please. <laughs> you don't mean that, do you? Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. And no, I do. didn't get in, have you thought about what you're going to do? I would be a little upset, but I can keep trying. I can come back next year if I have to. I could go back to college as well, mm -hmm. or I can do an apprenticeship but I'm trying not to think like that. For now, I'm just concentrating on my football. Take some three! One, two, three, target! This is my team, the Thames Valley Tigers under 19s. Coach's son and my mate Lewis is a linebacker in our defense. He's also made it to the final trial day for the academy. <laughs> no, you look really, you look really nice. nice. <laughs> so why do you want to be part of the NFL Academy? It's just an amazing experience. It would be uh, the best of the best coaching in the UK. Um, you get to play with some of the best in the UK as well. Ready, go! Being a Thames Valley Tiger has fueled my love of football. But the field here at Swindon feels like a different world to the turf at White Hart Lane. At the trials, we're being put through four drills. The 40-yard dash, broad jump, the vertical jump, and the shuttle run. We're judged by the coaches and some true superstars, like Osi Umanura, two-time Super Bowl winner with the Giants. That's Juju Smith-Schuster, wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, and this guy, Jason Bell, pundit on the BBC NFL show. Come on, look at me. Of course I'm excited. 
I'm excited. I'm around all this youth, all this speed, athleticism. I feel like I'm them and I want to get involved just like them. One guy who's a real motivation for us is Carolina Panthers defensive end, F.A. Obada. Born in Nigeria, he was brought to England illegally when he was 10 years old. This is where it started for me. Before the NFL, I was an illegal immigrant. I couldn't travel, I couldn't work, I couldn't provide. I was, you know, getting caught up in the wrong crowd. And now I can travel the world, I can, you know, provide for my family. I'm around great role models and I'm also it's fortunate enough to be in that position of being a role model. FA's the product, he's the final product. You know, when you're a kid and you are able to see someone from your community that made it, it gives you all the inspiration you need. Look at you, this is, this is, this is you. No, this is, no, 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 no. Every, every, every kid in there is looking at you like, man, this is my path, I got a shot. F.A. is a true inspiration, but what he's done is super rare. Only 3% of players in the last season's NFL were born overseas, but the academy could help open doors. There's 84 universities here in the UK starting to give out scholarships for American football. So if you could get a scholarship coming from here, forget the US, I mean, that's where they want to go, but if you didn't, you got a chance of getting a scholarship here in the UK. With just a day to show what we can do, the pressure is on. I want to make my family proud. I really hope Paul goes the distance and he achieves what he wants. But even if he doesn't, at least he's given it his best shot. But everyone's giving it their all. The competition is fierce. I just got to give it 100 and see what yeah, happens. Give it 100% as always. always. My granddad and my dad used to play Basically, it's been a generational dream. It would mean a lot to me if I got in today, especially doing it for my mum as well. It's good to see just how much effort you've put in. Thanks. And no matter what happens, even if you don't get in, you've done really well and that's what you've got to bear in mind. And I'm proud of you for that. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Why did you have to say that? Two weeks later, I got the call. I didn't get in. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. But I'll be back next year to try again. Until then, I'll keep training and eating my veg.